all go in and just dogpile on whoever that unfortunate target is. And the lock-in for the 80 carry spot on LGD will be Tristana. Tristana, interesting. Good player. If you're the Graves player, you're like, come on. But at least he's got that first one under his belt now. Peanut will, of course, look to add some more of those as we move forward. Now the okay. damage on Deleza is just too much. There's your Hail of Blades, Tristana, and there's your... Concerned about is the red buff being available, but you can trade sides since both reds are going to be up around... Uh, uh, up in tradable times. Yeah. Down on the bot lane uh, uh, turret plate, so... I think Rainbow Seven should concede the dragon. Uh, uh, Rift Herald, that is. Oh. Oh, here we go. Field goal arrow. Tries to fly through. Doesn't really find a target. Shadow trying to get himself away, but now the engage coming in. Marks into the back line. Still looking to make something happen. Here is the volley bear has entered the fray and alone is going to be in some trouble. Kill comes through and Long Xing takes it. Now looking to see if they can pick up anything else. Lamb's respite will keep like the idea of Rainbow Seven fully contesting that when they knew they were getting an advantage bot side. They could have actually all in towards it, but Whoa. Jose Diodo catches him out. Peanut jumping over that wall. Remember, no Lamb's Respite ready to go. Jose Diodo on the chase, giving him the thumbs up, but can he secure the kill? Auto attack, there's your damage into the line, baby. Follow up comes through LGD. What in the hell are you guys doing? This is a little bit sloppy right about now. Over the wall goes Jose Diodo. Uh -oh. Now he's gonna find Kramer. Kramer stepping forward just a little bit more, but he's got to deal with the fact that he's outnumbered, outgunned, flashes away. So I think overall, LGD did have the control. They should have been able to keep that control, but didn't use the Rift Herald as well as it could have been. Yona Alti comes through, follow-up coming down. Here's Rainbow Seven starting things off. Marked out of 200 HP, having to run himself out. First kill goes through, and Shie is down. Oh! Hex Tech Ultimatum says, no, you don't get on back here. Long Xing's down to 150 health, stuck inside the Lamb's Rest, but for now, Ase over the wall, trying to chase after this one. He's going to be stunned up, beaten down. Long Xing putting the herd on him, thrown up into the air. The follow-up is there, and the team works together wonderfully. LGD on Rainbow 7, they identified that the members from LGD weren't grouped up for the objective. Twisted Fate and Tristana will be very vulnerable to lethality-based builds in the bottom lane there mm. on the plates. But the next Rift Herald will be up very shortly, and it looks like we're going to get a fight for it. Yeah, Rainbow Seven want to get a fight, and here we go. Nice shot coming out from Leza there, but now the real fight's going to be in the top side of the river. LGD could be in some danger, but they grab the kill into Jose Diodo. That's a big pick as the TP's coming through, but Ase's alone behind enemy lines. Volley's going to find the slow onto four, but now the re-engage coming out from LGD. Ase is gone. Peanut finding the kill on that one. Shie continues the chase. Defensive ulti coming down from the Leona, and Rainbow Seven throw them all into the grinder. Rainbow Seven have to respond to it even though the you know the turret didn't go down itself seems like rainbow seven are going to find an opposite play okay rainbow seven they're deciding to go after long Xing in the top side collateral damage over the wall graves is not even required but he wanted to get the participation medal anyway meanwhile back in mid it's a 2v2 fight about to become a 3v3 fight she with the gold card there's your lockdown there's your kill she on a killing spree with the ash out of the picture it's a four-man push onto the tier two LGD see their opponents making moves on the other end of the map and they fire off a blind Ash arrow to see if maybe the AOE would blow up and steal it, which is super random to begin with, but Ash is still dead. Hover. Like these are the things that you can look for uh, within Rainbow 7's composition, so it's not too far off here for Rainbow. But the thing is just kind of hovering behind them, but it gives the timing for Volibear to push out through bot and they found a play. All right, the fight is starting off. Here they come. Long Shane grabbing the kill onto Leza as Rainbow 7 heads for the hills. A double kill over to the bear as now the Camille has arrived into the fight. Ase shows up, but it's too damn little, too damn late. The gold card says, how you doing, pal? Let me deal you in. Ase tries to run, but Long Xing just beats him down. Give him a big bite. Side of LGD, Jose Diodo is still alive. He has summoner spells ready to go here. May look to try to steal this one away. Alone to find Shie. Peanut coming around from behind. Jose Diodo going to get popped, going to get rocked. Shie's on a rampage, and Alone is running away. He goes into the stasis. Not quite a super profitable one here just yet. Tries to maybe set up a kill onto the enemy Twisted Fate, but no, sir. Not at all. Alone is gone. Long Xing's in the bottom lane. He has no teleport. Volibear can't join up with the rest of the team. LGD need to be aware of this fact. Stun onto alone, but the rest of the team can't follow up and actually go after a kill here. A lot of damage onto the turret from the Tristana E there. Explosive open that door, and now they're looking to take down the bottom lane tier two as well. Couple more seconds on that bear. Yeah. Keep Twisted Fate on side and just don't look at team fights. They can win through team fights. It's not to say that they won't. 
but they will always try and look for a numbers advantage, and so Twisted Fate being kept on side is what they want. I love this. As soon as Longsheng sees Ase walking over the wall, they're immediately using the Twisted Fate. Mark goes in! Wow. Ase goes down! LGD, they find their chance, and they immediately just jump on it. Double kill for Kramer. That's all she wrote. That was, uh, that was fast. <laughs> You know, uh, you try and set up a, a way, a slow way to play the game out. One person just gets caught near Raptor Camp, and now it's it. It's That's over. done. I just, I love how fast it was. As soon as the Camille is there, they use Twisted Fate. They find out where the rest of the team is lying in wait, and they seize the opportunity. Nexus turrets are gone. Lamb's respite is down, just to make sure no one. <laughs>